just with the balloon. We would probably have them doing everything just with their hands. So I'm going to show you all the exercises with my hands. Mel's going to show you with a little plastic back in case they are able to use the bat. But I love balloons because they're big, bright, they're colorful. For kids, it feels like they're going to a party. But everybody can have success with them because they move so slowly. So I'm going to, I'm going to throw it up and I'm going to catch with two hands. It's the first thing that I'm going to do. If they can do that, we're going to try and catch it at different heights. So I'm going to catch this one at my tummy. So I'm tracking it to catch at my tummy. I'm going to catch it at my knees. I'm going to catch it at my feet. So it's nice and secure because I'm using two hands. If we can do that, I'm going to try to bump it up and catch it. So I bump, catch. I'm going to try with my other hand, so I'm going to bump, catch. And of course, we could do all the body parts um, again. I'm going to try and mix up what I do with my hands. Mel's going to mix up what she does with the racket. I'm going to try and use my left hand and my right hand. So I'm going, not bumping it very high, keeping it very close to me so I can control it. I'm going to go right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. If we can do that, I'm going to try to do it above my head. Because in tennis, it's so important that we learn to hit the ball above our heads. So I, I hold the balloon up and I go one hand, other hand, one hand, other hand, one hand, other hand. I wouldn't do it for too long, just in case we get dizzy. I bring the, the balloon back to my tummy height and I'm going to try and hit with the palm of my hand and the back of my hand. Because in tennis, we have to change from forehand to backhand and this actually just gets the wrist working. So palm of my hand, back of my hand, palm of my hand, back of my hand, palm of my hand, back of my hand. I might try it with the other hand. Palm of my hand, back of my hand, palm of my hand, back of my hand, catch. Now in tennis, we always have to be able to adapt to the ball. We never know where it's going because somebody else hits it to us. So I'm going to hit one with my hand and then I'm going to hit the balloon with a body part then with my hand, then a different body part. So this is awareness of body parts, but it's also making my body adapt to the balloon first and eventually to the ball. So I go hand, shoulder, hand, head, hand, knees, hand, feet, hand, elbow, hand, finger. You could do that for as long or as short as you like. I tend to go quite quickly, but you usually find that the kids really enjoy this. Uh, this little exercise. So again in tennis we never know what height we're going to get the ball at so we have to learn to adapt to the ball at different heights. So I am trying to have a rally with myself which of course is what we're trying to get them to do eventually uh, with a bat and a ball. So I'm keeping the balloon going but I'm getting lower as I do it and then I'm going to get higher again. So I go hit, one knee, hit, two knees, hit, sit, hit, Lie down, hit, sit, hit, two knees, hit, one knee, and back up again. I'm going to try with both hands to do something slightly different. I'm going to hit with my fist and then with a finger. Mel's going to hit with the tip of the racket and then with her finger on the other side. So we've got both sides working. Fist, finger, fist, finger, fist finger and catch. That's the end of the individual exercises. The way that I like to work is to do some things individually first so the kids can just manage by themselves. They're not trying to compete or compare with anybody else. And then we move everything on into paired activity because tennis is a sport where you have to play with someone. So we have to get the kids understanding how to cooperate, how to send and receive with each other. So we're going to use just our hands for this one and we're going to use two balloons. So I'm using my balloon as a bat. I've got it nice and secure between both of my hands and my partner is going to use her hands to bump the balloon to me. And what happens here, or should happen here, is that as we start to stretch across to the ball, we're actually starting to mirror what could be like a, the startings of a tennis shot, like this, 
like this. We're not teaching it. We're, we're letting the games do the teaching for us. So no formal teaching. So a good demonstration and simple, clear communication is like worth a thousand um, words. So of course we'd swap and each have a, have a shot with that. And then we could change it where I'm holding the balloon by the knot. And my partner is going to bump it to me. And I'm going to put one hand behind my back and so is she. So that what should happen is that I reach across myself when it goes to the other side. And what I'm doing is I'm immediately bringing in the startings of a backhand. But we never have to tell them that. We just take one hand out of it and it does the job for us. So our last little exercise um, with the balloons for the younger kids, we're going to introduce the concept of hitting the ball over the net. So we're hitting our balloon over our homemade net, and our homemade net is we're shaking hands. So we bump it up over the net. So always go up so it keeps it in the air. And when I blow the tutor, we change hands, and we send it with the other hand 